Hi everybody, this is Father Bill, Holy Trinity Parish, and I wanted to give you a scoop. We're about to have Christmas Masses. If you see this, we're really close. In fact, as I meander around here, take a look. We have poinsettias that have come in, and there's our crush scene without the baby Jesus. But I didn't do all this. Actually, Michelle and Eric have been involved in here. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Michelle. I'm this Eric. Is Eric. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. And, you and guys? our boys. I'm They're here to help. Ethan Curry. What is it again? Ethan Curry. Ethan. And I'm Aiden Curry. And Aiden. These are very good Irish names. Yes. Very good. We're German. And that we, whatever. Okay. <laughs> and so my, I'm I'm half German, quarter Irish, quarter English, for all you that care. Hey, tell us about now. I was helping you load some of these in here. These poinsettias. They're not a normal poinsettia. Those are pretty awesome looking plants. Tell me more about this. What's going on here? They're beautiful. We got poinsettias this year from Al's Garden Center in uh, Sherwood. Yep. They saved the day. Um, the normal nursery that we go through had some damage and they weren't able to deliver poinsettias to us. And so we went to Al's and they were able to fulfill the order at the last minute yeah. and wow. gave us some amazing, beautiful poinsettias. You'll have to come mm -hmm. to see them. Right, I will pan the camera over them briefly, but we don't want to you know, give all the uh, surprises away because you have to come to mass, right? Yeah, yeah. see them unwrap. See, yeah. yeah, so yeah. They're, they are already They're there. still hiding. <laughs> they're kind of there, you see They're, they're acclimating uh, right now. What's that, what does that mean? Oh, quite. Well, they're very temperamental. Really? Um, they don't like to get too warm. They don't like to get too cold. And so we bring them in with little blankies on and let them acclimate and then we'll unwrap them. Okay, well, hey, there you have it. That's the inside scoop I wanted to tell you about. We're getting ready for Christmas and Michelle's and Eric and family have been doing all kinds of other things like a pan away over here i think they're responsible for the garland and the uh, the wreaths and things as well is that right yeah. yes yeah yeah you've been working on this for days and hours and days. weeks yes yeah. yes yeah well this boys helped they did all the garland and the wreath thank you gentlemen appreciate it yeah well hey so this is the first surprise there's another surprise but i have to cut away because as i was just telling you i got a new dog and his name is Snickers. Do you want to meet Snickers? We'll just hold on. Here we go. Okay, we're cutting away now to the house here. I'm at the parish house. Uh, you might recognize the Christmas tree there. But I did mention that there's a new four-legged friend in my house. And this is him right here. This is Snickers. Hey, Snickers. What's up, buddy? Now he's chill. He wasn't so chill earlier. But anyhow, this is my dog. He is a schnoodle, as far as we can tell. He's part poodle and part schnauzer schnauzer and uh, we think he's about three years old right what do you think yeah he does shed a little bit that's not supposed to happen with poodles or schnauzers but nonetheless i picked him up uh, on sunday after the masses and we've been doing some training and getting to know each other uh, he's learned how to uh there we go he's learned how to how to come when i call him and also to sit when i ask him to sit now he's getting good at where i can just put my finger up like this, and he knows to sit. Unless he's, of course, distracted, and that's another level of training, but anyhow. So here he is. He's enjoying his time here in his forever home, and you'll probably see him here and there at the uh, at parish events. Um, obviously not necessarily in the church, but uh, at the office for sure. He's already hung out with the office for a while. But he's a cool little guy. Um, he really doesn't seem to know much as far as training, but again, it could be because of his uh, having been from a shelter and he drove well he didn't drive he was driven he was riding in a van for two days straight from the houston texas area and uh he was a mess on sunday so but i did pick him up and gave him a bath and uh here we go how's it going buddy <laughs> he's not really camera shy but anyhow so uh know that he's in the office you're always welcome to come by and say hello uh we may be busy because he's gonna be at most of my meetings or in my office in a crate what do you think huh right there you go. okay so masses this weekend we know it's very cold out in fact i was just looking over let's see if i can actually do this i was looking outside my window here and oh, let's see that's there i put out a um a hummingbird feeder now you can kind of see it there right there and the hummingbird feeder froze over 
it's like 20 degrees out right now. And that's not a surprise, so I have to have two hummingbird feeders if I'm going to deal with that. So I replaced, that's the newer one, I just replaced that. The other one's completely frozen solid. It was, I put, in it, put it back in the house last night, and then when I left to come to the church for Mass, I put it out, and then by the time I came back, several hours later, totally frozen. And I'll just have to rotate that uh, as we go. Because the hummingbird feeder, there's a hummingbird actually out there that was nesting on the catio, and I think I scared him off, but he'll be hanging around because this is probably his only food he can get. So back to the masses. Sorry, I, I diverge. I get distracted. This Sunday, or excuse me, this Saturday is Christmas Eve, right? And we have a, a storm coming in. By the time you see this, it may be already in the middle of it. So I'm recording this on Thursday around 2.30. And the uh, weather is supposed to come in any time. But uh, we don't know exactly what it'll be. So, But we'll have daily Mass uh, tomorrow, that's Friday, and we'll have our Christmas Masses as scheduled no matter what, because I can walk over there, uh, and we'll be able to open the doors. But we don't want you to take any risks, so you, you decide what's the level of risk you're willing to take, but um, while we will make sure that we have it, that doesn't mean that you have to come. We will be streaming some of the Masses. I don't know the number, what the times are. I'm going to be able to put it up on the side here, what Masses those are, so that you can know that you can come. I did put that thing in the, I posted it in the previous uh, video, but uh, I want to encourage you. That's then four, six, and nine o'clock on Christmas Eve, and then nine o'clock only for Christmas Day. I'm just looking out at the sky. It's pretty gloomy and very, very cold. Uh, when I have to take the dog out, it's pretty tough. But anyhow, so back to again, I'm squirreling here. Back to the the schedule. Please feel free to come. And the next week will be then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So. Know the mass schedules in the following weekend will be the same as normal. So we'll still have the, the next week will be Saturday, will be confessions in the 5.30 mass, followed by the Sunday, which will be our regular 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11.15. But Christmas schedule is different, and that's coming up. By the time you see this, hopefully we'll have a good sense of what the weather is. We're thinking as we see the forecast at this time, that the weather will show that it's going to be rainy and warmer warmer in the 40s so that's much better than in the 20s or the teens and that should make driving fine so uh hopefully that'll all kind of blown away or uh the, any ice that's on the ground will have melted by that point but uh you do what's best for you we will have these masses and i hope to see you there all right and uh i won't be uh, snoo this uh snickerdoodle guy that's where the name came from uh, snickers itself he or himself he will be in my office uh, for Christmas Masses. He won't be coming at the Masses itself. Meantime, I'll see you at, at church, uh, hopefully this weekend for Christmas, the Solemnity of Christmas, the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. Okay, okay. Ah. All right. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, got it. Okay, got it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think he's happy. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're... Uh, oh, oh, God. Hi there. Hi there. Okay. Hi there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye.